This year, Little Red, a 1984 Subaru GL hatchback with a mere 95,000 miles on it, had the opportunity to attend West Coast Subaru Show 20. Held at the Ridge Motorsports Park near Shelton in Washington State on July 7th of 2018, this year highlighted one of the best venues ever, including go-karts, motocross, race cars lapping up the track, and of course, the car show and the infamous WCSS Mud Pit. The West Coast Subaru Show started in a small parking lot in 1999 and has grown year upon year to become the weekend festival that exists now, 20 years later. The event includes overnight camping accommodation and draws Subarus from all over the west coast of America, from British Columbia to Colorado. <laughs> this year saw around 800 people attending, bringing with them over 350 of the best Subarus around, with 200 cars registering for the show. Friday night's drizzle of rain helped keep the dust down at the campgrounds and the parties went well into the night. This year's event was challenging to set up according to the organisers and without them this event wouldn't have happened. At the end of the day WCSS handed out the Show and Shine Awards as well as raffling prizes donated by the event's generous sponsors. Jeez. Oh my goodness, where'd he go? The Impreza L. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Best of show, Impreza L. What the heck, Jordan Shaw? Nice! Good job, bud. Thank you so much. Amazing. That's awesome. During the awards ceremony, Little Red, the 1984 Subaru GL, was given second place in the Generation 2 category. With first place going to a 1984 Subaru GL10 with under 10,000 original miles and the added factory options of power steering, air conditioning, power windows, cruise control and even a digital speedometer. It was a pleasure to be a part of. People have looked at my car and thought I was an artist, but I consider myself just a local crackpot. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, so this one's this one's smaller. That's a 52. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even see the second one. Yeah. Though. And the the bigger one is a 6262. So the smaller one feeds the bigger one. What's this thing making? Uh, this is just uh, the um, it's just a, a rack. The luggage rack, you know, and just like in the day, mm -hmm. you know, people could put stuff on them. Yeah. You don't usually see people do that too much. Uh huh. But um, you can get the luggage rack available as a, it was just like an add-on like for your car. This came factory with the luggage rack because this has the GL10 with the blackout package. Mm -hmm. And so only the silver ones and the dark charcoal ones were had this. Yeah. If you had a room uh, GL10, uh -huh. you would then have the silver trim all around oh, just like okay. everybody else. What do they, what do they you, call this? Uh, that's, I call the, the insignia or whatever, but insignia. only the coupes have that. Mm -hmm. And uh, like everybody talks about, um, they have plastic that's chrome dipped, and so the chrome comes off over age, so most of them are pretty worn out. Yeah, you know who can talk your off on that? Forky. <laughs> <laughs> I showed it to him, he's like... Oh. <laughs> so yeah. that was changed from the dealer? Yeah, See, factory. There's a, there's I, think like that, a, I think it was yeah. probably the assembly line. It's like it's the six, it X to 15 to 5. Yeah, if you look up here, it's got the little Fuji swoosh stamp. Yeah. It's pre-filled out. 261? <laughs> oh, that is so neat. Todd, Todd Martin. What year is this Subaru? This is an 84 Subaru, and uh, I've had it for 20 plus years, and it's been to many Subaru meets, and it's a lot of fun. The world record attempt as well? Yeah, 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 we made it to that too, and I'm uh, very much a Subaru enthusiast, and, and this is a lot of fun to come here and see what all people have done to their cars. Well, what's your whole theme on this car? Uh, it's somewhat military. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Thrasher is the name of it. May I ask what your, uh, your last upgrade is? Oh, this right here, the top hat. Uh, where does that come from? I bought it off a 1950 Ford 35 years ago, and I've been carrying it around all these years, and I thought, I gotta do something with it, so. I thought it looked good right on there. Oh, wow. There are lights up, barn lights, and uh -huh. I thought it kind of gave it a nautical feel. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, the domes I got from Woodby Island, they were in a play. I don't know what they did with them. Mm -hmm. And the guy was going to throw them away, and I said, well, I'll take them. And then I uh, mounted this one, and then I actually cut a hole to match the other one, so it's, they actually work. Yeah. Uh, do you daily drive this? Is this a daily driver? Yeah, yeah. yeah. In the summertime, I drive it every day. It doesn't have a good heater, so in the winter, I kind of park it. You need to get that? It's a, oh, no. That's a, I got a secretary for that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how many miles on it? Uh, the odometer broke in 98 with 290,000, so I'm guessing it's got 400,000 on it. 400,000? I'm guessing. Wow. I mean, it's been... Yeah. 15 plus years I've drove it, uh -huh. so I mean, that's a lot of miles. Uh, what engine does it have? The 1800 uh, stock yeah. motor. That's an EA81? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, people actually think this is real, but it's actually the auxiliary transmission cooler. Oh, all right. It says it right there. <laughs> it's, yeah. uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's it's right through and it, keeps it nice and cool. <laughs> it's a functional. Uh, yeah, functional transmission yeah, it's cooler. not just for looks. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and it goes right through your spare tire. Yeah, yeah, that's and, what it's safe for. Uh, uh, what if you need the spare tire? Um, I can do it. it, it yeah. I can reach in through here. I actually have to unscrew one of these, reach in there, and then I can take it out in one piece. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I had to replace... Nope, there are. I thought I changed them. They're Allen heads, and I, yeah. one time I didn't have any Allen heads, uh -huh. and we used vice grips. I thought I thought I changed them with Phillips. Yeah, I did. and uh, and so you relocated your uh, distributor coil, I see. <laughs> yeah, well, that was actually my latest thing. Now that you mentioned yeah. it, that was there. I had the distributor cap uh -huh. just stuck on this thing, and I had some plug wires, and I thought, well, I'll keep them guessing. And it's surprising how many people think it's real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's just for show. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like for everything yeah, else. This guy's name. He's just, uh, yeah, I actually, when kids look at the car, I give it as a souvenir. Oh, I got okay. three or four of them, and I used to paint them green, yeah. like army guys, and then they thought that was pretty cool. Okay. But yeah, he just rides along, and it's kind of an ongoing test to see if he'll stay <laughs> or not. Yeah. Awesome. What's this piece here? That came from the Tesoro oil refinery uh, out of the junk pile, and I have no idea what it was made for, but it okay. it looks like it yeah. fits good. And what yeah. about the 
What about this, uh, this grill? It's a, a Volvo grill that yeah. someone gave me, and I just, wow. Well, yeah. That's the grill, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's this, a lot safer with that yeah. on there. Did this car originally come with the Cyclops light? No, this is all I added this year and actually did the, the whole okay. bit. Are uh, these uh, lights all functional? Well, these aren't. Okay. This one is, and uh, the little guys on the top are. Yeah. And then the spotlight works too. What kind of hubcaps? Uh, full moon hubcaps, they call those. Okay. You got baby moons, and then the full moon are the yeah. big ones. And. Uh -huh. Yeah, it kind of looks like you've been in the snow. They kind of fill in like that and stuff. Right. Yeah, I got a V10 Magnum on there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just found the you bet. BMW too. Yeah, um, Alfa Romero on the other side. As for official abuse only, have you added any collection on your dashboard? Not too much. I'm trying to think of what I have put on there. I yeah. possibly could have. I just, just um, I get things, I just throw it in there. There's enough now to kind of stays in place without having to yeah. do anything. Um, I was in a hurry and it was like we had to go to town or something and the seat was out and I had some foam rubber and I threw it in there and I'm like it's comfortable so yeah. it's, yeah. it looks comfortable. Yeah, you know, like I say I'm kind of tall and it yeah. sits you down a little bit lower and, and uh, well, yeah for a long time it works fine. And uh, this is a tachometer? Yeah, it's an auxiliary tab yeah. on there. And then this thing in the center, though, do you see that deal with the orange on there? Oh, uh, no, that's, I haven't. That's a solar powered road reflector. Oh, wow. At night, it does a nice orange glow to it. Yeah. There were some <laughs> relatives that had gone to the casino yeah. and lost enough money that they figured they needed to get something back, uh -huh. so they stole some of those, and I stole it from him. <laughs> oh, you find your car, yeah. your car in the parking lot at night. So. Yeah, uh, yeah, you uh, bet. Oh, what are these for? Right? These are screw-ups. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you had the, if the back wasn't on there and you wanted to get in, that's yeah. what they were made for. I see. And, uh, yeah, yeah for actually yeah. skid plates. Skid plates. Yeah, uh, yeah that's I, what I meant. I have dozens, a lot yeah. of them, and I thought I'd sell them or whatever, uh, and nobody seemed interested, so no. I still got plenty if you need one. Okay. Because these are the, the old ones, Gen 1s, mm -hmm. and then that's Gen 3, and these would be like this one here. Oh, you know, I, yeah, over the years uh -huh. I've had so many Subarus, I just kept, yeah. and over the years people take them off, change the oil, they don't bother putting them back on or something. Right. What's your dog's name? Oh, that's Bell. Oh. Hey, Bell. Hey, Bella. Aren't you? Nice. You bet. And so you you see that one sticker in the back though? It says this is not a toy. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> and they, uh, this one here, they say men my age suffer from that. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't. Uh, <laughs> Although this is status in a sense. Yeah. This plate, I think. Well, that's a, the Honda one. That was yeah, kind I of know, a, but if that comes flat, it's a yeah. You know, it's been there for at least six years. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, I'll tighten it up though. Maybe that's what's... Yeah, see you can fly out now. Yeah. Gas fumes, no smoking within yelling distance. <laughs> that's great. Just in case. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, used to make headstones and the girl that did the printing for me, basically anything I wanted to print, mm -hmm. she would do it for real cheap. So we just had all kinds of stuff okay. to put on there. And uh, yeah, it was fun. It's, yeah. uh, how many uh, Subarus do you own now? Eight, ten maybe, I suppose. Eight or ten. Yeah, and the most I ever had was 36 at one time. Wow. And that was, yeah, we had a yard full of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. At that time, they wanted $50 to get rid of them, yeah. and then it evolved to $100 they would pay you. And so I, if it comes up, and the guy was mean. He said, he said this pains him to look at. Yeah, and uh, what's with the new engine? He says, these things came with a motor that lasts 300,000 miles. Why would you change it and all this other crap? And it's like, mm, Even though I don't know if did. it's going to download. I think he probably was just trying to get some uh, attention. Yeah, and then he did yeah, the same though with it. Jeff. For Jeff, Jeff was, yeah, he did a story on him, and it's like, right. he, we laughed. He said, here, we're like, you know, 500 feet from each other, and right. there's this world renowned hotcars.com and they picked both of us. Oh. He just basically said the same about Jeff too. He was just kind of mean. It was oh. like, you it's know. Disrespectful. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I mean, I don't yeah. mind being ribbed and teased right. and stuff, but not just, you know. No, that's not right. I was yeah. just uh, showing off my shirt here. Not many people know where Port Charles is. That's where General Hospital is filmed. 
So all the cool people on General Hospital have been in Port Charles City Jail. <laughs> I'm right there. Thanks a lot. Yeah, you betcha. <laughs> you guys look alike, huh? <laughs> Okay. I think we have enough of those type of cars.
So the wood one there is the regular five speed. The one, the silver one there, that is the the high low for the transmission because of the dual range. Mm -hmm. And then the one to the left here, the black one, is high, uh, neutral, and low. And the other one is two wheel drive, four wheel drive. As the evening set in, many attendees returned to their campsites to enjoy another night. As Chris would describe, this is truly the best part of the show. In the evenings, getting a chance to talk about the day, meet new friends, catch up with old friends and prepare the vehicles for Sunday's drive home. A huge thanks to the support from Chris Tex Walker, Monica Walker, Eric Breitkreutz and Brittany Little for giving their time and efforts. Thanks to Robert Allen Walker and the parking crew, Lisa Faulkner-Lewis, Jay Spang, Sarah Jo Spang, Matt Franca, and all the judges at the show. Another thanks to Dennis Nicholson, Sean Nicholson, and the rest of the family for running the mud pit, along with everyone who attended, who makes the show what it is. This is one Subaru show that's a must see. I hope to see you at the next reunion. Cheers all.